Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be checking out this keyboard from Dust Silver, and this is gonna be a very cotton candy-like keyboard, and it's called the D84. So jumping right in, we're gonna go ahead and actually unbox this thing to give you the full customer experience. And wow, this thing does come with a nice shield, so very pleasant unboxing experience. It doesn't feel like some just bare minimal. They really took the effort to package this thing up. Wow, this thing is, looks like a toy. <laughs> wow, this thing is cool. Okay, let's do a little typing test. I, I don't know what this is gonna sound like, but let's do it. Okay, here we go. Wow, this is an amazing typing experience. So I believe these are using the red switch keys because of their silence but we'll go ahead and pop one out here to actually see what's inside and if we pop this thing open you can see we are indeed using the reds and this the reds are going to be more quiet and linear sounding and these are going to be using the Gatoron switches and these are going to be more optimal for office type environments where you need something really really quiet now the keycaps themselves are gonna be made up of a PBT material, and this is gonna be pretty much the highest quality standard you can get in keycaps. Feeling this thing, it feels very smooth, very polished, and there's like, you can feel this coat on there that feels really nice. And if you ever wanna replace any of these uh, keycaps or the key switches themselves, they can easily be hot swapped and it's no problem at all. This thing is fully customizable. But I will say this thing out of the box feels really good. And I mean, I don't think I would customize this thing any further because it just feels nice out of the box. So now in terms of other parts of the design with this keyboard, you're gonna see on the back that you do have three adjustable leg sizes. We can go ahead and plop the first one up, that's size number one, and you can see it kind of props up like that. And then size number two, bam, it just kind of goes right in there. And and now you have a second level higher and the keyboard does come with some accessories and the first thing you're gonna get is this nice high quality thick cable and this is gonna be USB-A to USB-C and then this here is gonna be a keycap popper so if you ever wanna pop your keycaps out you're gonna use uh, this end here with the, the more thin side and if you wanna pop the key switch out they have this bit here which uh, allows for you to remove the actual switch itself. And then this is just an, an adapter. It's, um, you can convert your USB-A to a C or vice versa. So it just gives you more connectivity options. So in order to connect this keyboard to your device, there's gonna be a secret compartment, very hidden. So if you don't know what you're looking for, you may not be able to find it and you might have to look in the instruction manual, but it's right here. You just pop this thing up like that whoops and then you can see that there are going to be some switches inside of there that allow you to customize it so you can see right there you have wi-fi connecting and then you have bluetooth connecting right there so you can actually pull it out like that and then you get this usb dongle right here and you can connect either with that or you can connect via bluetooth and you can see the rgb lights are on and this thing is looking pretty crispy and then you also get some right here like a nice little strip here that kind of shows you all the lights and then you can see there's also going to be some backlights behind the actual keycaps themselves which is really going to give you this nice vibrant look so if you do want to configure these rgb settings uh there's going to be a few ways to do that you can do that by clicking function and q and this kind of toggles between the different light modes as you can see right there command z is gonna adjust the pattern of the bar here so I'm sorry, not command Z, function Z. So if we click that, you can see this bar is getting like a different pattern style as we tap it. Now, if you wanna pair this keyboard to your computer without using the uh, dongle that's included here, um, the way you're gonna do that is you're gonna switch it over to Bluetooth, which is all the way to the left. And then once you have it all the way to the left, all you need to do is hold function plus one and it's going to start pairing over to your computer or device you're trying to connect it to you and then you just push connect and i just went ahead and did that 
And now I can see that it has successfully connected to my computer. Now there are gonna be some useful shortcuts for media controls and you can see them all here. Feel free to click pause. And then one more thing to note is that you can switch between Mac mode and Windows mode. So in order to do Mac mode, you just do function plus M and now it's acting like a Mac Apple keyboard. If you wanna do a Windows layout keyboard, it's function W. And then it's also gonna be able to connect to multiple devices. So the way to do that is it's just like I mentioned earlier, like you connect Bluetooth, instead of clicking function one for your primary device, you just do function plus two or function plus three. And you can connect up to three devices and you can have like your phone, your desktop and your tablet or a second computer connected. So this keyboard can switch between devices at the click of a button. I'd definitely say this is a solid keyboard if you're a keyboard enthusiast and you want something really custom and different looking, especially in this milkshake color. Now, if you're not a fan of this milkshake colors, they do have other keyboard color combina combinations. They're not super subtle, like one color. They typically have mix and match colors. So they're all like very kind of out there but they have more male looking keyboards. They have more female looking keyboards. So if you wanna see some of their different color options that they have, head over to dustsilver.com and go to their keyboards page, which I'll link down in the description below and you can check them out there. And if you like this video, I'd really appreciate if you hit that like button and don't forget to leave your comments down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.